Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. This time we will be looking at multiplication of exponential numbers with integer exponents. And let us now first perform an investigation. Part 1. We have got 5 to the power of 3 times 5 squared. Now we can have this as 5 times 5 times 5, that is 5 to the power of 3, times 5 times 5, which is 5 squared, or 5 to the power of 2. Now, this will give us 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, which is the same as 5 to the power of 5. But now, look at this. In this way, if I have 5 to the power of 3 times 5 squared, if I simply get the exponent 3 plus 2, so say that I get 5 to the power of 3 plus 2, this will also give me 5 to the power of 5. You see, this and this are the same. You see? Now let's Take another investigation in the in the second part. We look at negative 2 to the power of 4 times negative 2 to the power of negative 2. Now, negative 2 to the power of 4 means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. And now, times negative 2 to the power of negative 2 means 1 out of negative 2 times negative 2. Now, let's cancel this negative 2 and this negative 2, then this negative 2 and this negative 2. So we will remain with just only negative 2 times negative 2, which is the same as negative 2 squared. But let us now look at this in this way. If I have negative 2 to the power of 4 times negative 2 to the power of negative 2, if I simply add the powers, I will simply have negative 2 to the power of 4 plus negative 2. And this will give us negative 2 squared which is the same as this one. You see that? Let's take another part. We'll look at part 3. I have 0 0.1 to the power of negative 2 times 0 0.1 to the power of 0. Remember, since I have the power of negative 2, I will have it as 1 out of 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 okay times since I have 0 0.1 to the power of 0 that actually means 1 so that I have 1 out of 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 which is the same as 1 out of 0 0.1 squared and 1 out of 0 0.1 squared actually means 0 0.1 to the power of negative 2. Now, let us look at this in this way. I'll have 0 0.1 to the power of negative 2 times 0 0.1 to the power of 0, such that I will simply add the powers. Okay? Now, this will give me 0 0.1 to the power of negative 2, which is the same as this. You see? We check the last part. Let A be any number other than 0. Okay? Now I have A to the power of negative 3 times A to the power of negative 4. Okay? This will give me 1 out of A times a times a 
that is a to the power of negative 3 times a to the power of negative 4 it means 1 out of a times a times a times a now this will give us 1 out of a times a times a times a then a times a times a you see I'll get 1 out of a to the power of 7 and this is the same as a to the power of negative 7 let's look at it in this way if I have a to the power of negative 3 times a to the power of negative 4 and I add the powers negative 3 plus negative 4 I will also get a to the power of negative 7 and you see that it is the same as this way now how can we conclude you can see that from our investigation we can come up with property 1 of exponents whereby let a be any number other than 0 where m and n are integers okay remember when we say integers we mean 0 we mean negatives and we mean positives okay so m and n can be 0 can be negative can be positive so then a to the power of m times a to the power of n equals a to the power of m plus n so that is the property one of exponents remember property is the same as rule it is also the same as law okay now let's look at some examples write the products of the following in simple form where a is any number other than zero we look at number one we have negative three to the power of five times negative three to the power of negative eight okay now since the bases are the same what will we do even here the bases are the same what should we do even for number three the bases are the same remember property one of exponents okay now let's get the solution of part one so we will get negative three to the power of five plus negative eight okay so this will give us negative three to the power of negative three i hope this is understood okay now when we have to the power of negative three it actually means one out of negative three to the power of three just to take away this negative we write it as a fraction okay part two we have got two to the power of negative four times two to the power of negative three you can see that the bases are the same so what should we do then we will simply add the powers remember when i say power it is the same as exponent it is also the same as index so now i have two to the power of negative four plus negative three which is the same as two to the power of negative seven since i have the power as a negative of seven can see the power is a negative we can write it as a fraction that will be one out of two to the power of seven we look at the final example the bases are the same the base is negative 
2 out of 3 and here you can see negative 2 out of 3. Since the bases are the same, we will simply add the exponents. So we get negative 2 out of 3 to the power of 4 plus negative 5. And this will give us negative 2 out of 3 to the power of negative 1. We can write this as a fraction to get 1 out of negative 2 out of 3 to the power of 1. And this can be 1 divided by 2 out of 3, but negative. And then this will be 1 times negative 3 out of 2. We make the reciprocal of 2 out of 3. So that we get negative 3 out of 2. This will give us negative 3 out of 2. Or we can make it a mixed number to get negative 1 and a half. So I believe that you have really understood. Now you can do some practice. Please pause the video and try out these three questions. Thank you for watching and have a good day.